What's up guys and welcome back once again to the reviews. Uh, I've been away for a bit, I've had a few uh, weeks off, um, so not many videos, um, so sorry for that, but uh, I've been ill and things like that, so um, let's get on with it anyway. Um, today I'm going to be checking out a new cooler, this is from Iceberg Thermal, and this is the Isolite G6 Stealth, massive thank you to them for sending this over for review. Um, so we'll get this unboxed, have a look at it, and then we'll get it installed and see how it performs. Right, so as mentioned in the intro, this is the G6 Ice Sleet Stealth from Iceberg Thermal. Um, so we'll get it unboxed and have a quick look at it. And it's a quick look over the box of uh, basically what the ratings are and things like that. There's a 225 watt rated TDP, so it should be a very good cooler for your really high performance processors. Um, it's going to be going on a 5900X today, um, so we'll see how it performs. It's got a RAM clearance of 56 mils, so that's handy to know if you've uh, got high RAM and obviously you want to fit it in your case. Uh, it's got six heat pipes and they're all six millimeters and uh, aluminium fins and direct touch heat pipe and it's a black nickel plated, plated finish um, anything other than that we need to say a socket support so it does support 1700 uh, for intel also 1200 2066 1150 uh, 2011 uh, 0 and 2011 3 and for amd it covers am4 am3 and plus AM2 and plus FM2 and plus and FM1. So pretty much everything you need to cover with a six year warranty. Doesn't say if it's AM5. Um, if it uses a standard AMD bracket, then it should be, um, but we'll have a look into that and I'll try and get some clarification on that. The fan is a standard 140 by 140 by 25, so 140 mil fan. And it goes up to 1400 RPM with 85 CFM and 2.2 HTO. So that fan sounds absolutely brilliant. Um, so we'll have a look at it and uh, we'll, we'll see how it performs anyway. So in this packet we get uh, accessories, so this will be installation manual and all your fittings and things like that. And then this is the cooler itself and uh, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera but it's absolutely behemoth, it's massive. Um, so this is one of the biggest coolers I've ever seen, it's absolutely humongous, look at the size of that. <laughs> it is absolutely huge. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll do some nice cooling. And like I say, it's black nickel, pl nickel plated finishing and it's got this sort of different pattern to it. Uh, I assume you can see that on camera. Um, like it's not just straight, it's got some sort of uh, shape to it, which looks really nice. It has got a blue rim round here, which is not going to be to everyone's taste, not going to fit with everyone's builds. So it would be nice if they did a black version, but I don't think they do. Um, but if they did an all black version, that would be nice to see. Um, but anyway, and on the top here, we've got Iceberg Thermal branding as well. It looks really nice. So it is going to look nice inside your case. Um, but like I say, it's absolutely massive. Um, I've not seen anything like this for a while, to be fair. Well, I've, I've never used anything this big. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, six heat pipes, as I said, they are direct touch, these ones. And the six millimeters uh, wide we might plate there. And then as it comes, it's set up with this to be removed um, for installation. So this basically top top bit comes out, and this is your fan inside. Uh, as you can see, 140 mil fan inside, with nice big fins on it. Um, it is standard size, uh, 140 mil fan. So technically, I assume you'd be able to put your own fan in it as well if it fits in with these holes here that are on it. And um, so yeah, you should be able to put your own fan in this. And um, obviously, we'll we'll check that out. Um, and there's not really much more to talk about, really. Um, see this massive gaping hole in the middle. And I assume that's yeah, that's to get access to your uh, tie down points to to fix it to the to your mount, um, and that's about it, guys. So we'll get this installed and we'll, we'll see how it performs. And I'm expecting big things from this as it's so absolutely massive. Um, so yeah, stick with me and let's have a look. Right, so there we have the Ice Sleep G6 Stealth from Iceberg Thermal. And um, in terms of looks, um, I, hope, I don't know if you agree with me or not, um, but I think it looks absolutely awesome. It's absolutely huge. Looks 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 awesome. Looks really, really good. Um, just a massive chunk of metal hanging off your thing, but it does look really nice with it, the way it's painted in nickel. Um, I think it personally looks really, really good. Um, 
it's not going to be to everyone's taste um, as it is got the sort of the blue accents um, around it. So it's got a bit of blue on it. Um, so it's not going to fit everyone's build. It doesn't fit my build either, to be honest with you, but it looks pretty good. Um, and obviously, if you've got RGB on your other stuff, then you can sort of make it match if you wanted to. Um, so one thing I would say about this is I'd like to see maybe an RGB version to start off with. Oh, sorry, not to start off with, but an, an RGB version and then at a bare minimum is just a pure black one. Um, an absolute, completely blacked out one. No, no blue on it whatsoever. Uh, and maybe they could do a white version as well um, for people that want to do a white build. Um, because I think that would look quite good as well with it being iceberg um, uh, thermal, then I think it could look quite good in, in white. But anyway, uh, enough about talk, uh, what it looks like. Uh, again, I think it looks brilliant, and that's that, we'll leave it at that. Um, so the the installation of it, um, it does use AMD's uh, backplate um, to attach to. Um, so to me, that would say it's probably AM5 compatible. Um, I'll check that on their website just to double check and put that up on the screen now if it is. Um, but normally, I think when it uses the back plate, um, then it means it's AM AM5 compatible, but I'm not going to guarantee that just yet. Uh, in terms of installation, um, it's an absolute doddle. Um, no problems with it whatsoever. It's really, really easy to install. Um, it's literally two brackets onto the uh, AMD back plate, and then the cooler goes straight onto that, and it's done. It's really, really easy to do. And then you slide the fan in at the end. Um, so yeah, in installation's fine. It looks great. Um, so uh, let's get on with the uh, the thermals uh, the testing and see uh, how it performs. Um, so it was run max chat throughout all testing for thermals um, to obviously basically give the best um, possible um, performance of it to see what it what it can do. And uh, I've done it on three testers: at Cinebench R twenty three, Shadow of the Tomb Raider ten eighty p Ultra, and Time Spy uh, CPU test at ten eighty p max settings as well. Um, so at idle, it was 28 degrees on the CPU package and 24 degrees on the CPU. Um, so that's pretty decent. That's that's kind of what I expected. Uh, and then in terms of Cinebench, and then in terms of Cinebench, um, we got a maximum of 75 on the package and 64 on the CPU, and an average of 70 on the package and 60 on the CPU. Um, so it's not absolutely incredible. It's not blowing me away, to be honest with you. Um, but in terms of comparing it to others, um, the cooler I just took off to put this onto test was an Inwin 360 degrees AIO, and that got around five degrees uh, cooler than this. Um, so if you compare it to a 360 AIO, it is actually pretty decent. Five degrees off isn't bad at all, um, and it kept the clocks around 4.3 uh, all core because um, it was a multi core test. Um, obviously, you're not going to get the highest clocks on, on all core test. Um, um, but 4.3 across all of them was uh, pretty decent. Uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider to give a sort of gaming test to see how, how it performs during gaming. Um, average, uh, sorry, a max of 68 and 57 on CPU package and CPU respectively. Average of 53 and 43. Again, a CPU package and CPU respectively. And it was running around 4.5 to 4.6 gigahertz on most of the cores throughout the test. Um, so what boosting them up? Obviously, some go up and then some others come down, things like that. But uh, most most cores were going up to four point five, four point six at times. So um, yeah, it it holds decent clocks as well. And then Time Spy uh, CPU test uh, sixty nine and fifty, so sixty nine and fifty eight um, CPU package and CPU, and then average fifty two and forty one, and clocks again were around four point six on this. Um, so yeah, really good results. Um, like I say, I've not it's not the best I've seen. I have seen better results. Um, I think my thermal right dual tower assassin um, did better than this. Um, however, it is sort of a single tower, and it is it is a dual tower, I suppose, but it's only got the one fan in the middle. So maybe if you could put more fans on this, you might be able to get more out of it. But I don't think there's any way really of, of attaching more fans. Um, and maybe if you put a higher RPM fan in it, um, it is a one forty fan. Then we'd, uh, we'd get some better results. Something I may look into in the future if I get a chance. Um, and I might put an RGB fan and see what it looks like when it shines through as well. But that's that might may come in the future if I can get around to it. Uh, and lastly, let's talk about the sort of noise level of it. Um, I didn't mention it at the start what it's rated for, but it says uh, it says max noise level twenty six decibels for the fan. Um, so let's talk about uh, how loud the fan was. Um, so. At the minimum, I could possibly run it out, which is 500 RPM. Um, 
is 19 decibels, so absolutely silent, pretty much you can barely hear it. And then at 50%, um, so around 700 RPM, uh, 21 decibels, again, still pretty much silent. And then at max chat up to, I think it runs about just over 1400 um, on mine, so about 1420 something, it actually ran up to at maximum. 34, um, So, the, but there is still fans in my case as well. Um, I, I turn them all the way down to give it the best chance to give you the best sort of reading for the for the noise levels, but obviously they are still, still are making some noise. Um, so 34 is not far off there, 26 uh, rated decibels, and it isn't very loud at all, to be fair. Um, on its own, um, with the other fans, obviously, yes, it does get loud. Uh, so that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I um, hope this uh, gave you some insight into this cooler. Um, I really like the looks of it. I think it looks awesome. Just massive, massive chunk on your on your CPU. Um, so if you are thinking of buying this, I can recommend it. It is decent. Um, like I say, the, a couple of things I'd say about it. RGB version would be nice. An all black version would be nice. And one thing I didn't mention before that I think would be good is if the change the the block to a solid block rather than direct touch heat pipes because these the solid blocks seem to perform better than direct touch. Um, so if you could change change it to that for like a new revision, and um, then that would be sort of ideal. And I reckon you get better better results out of it. And maybe the ability to stick another fan on it somewhere. I don't know where you'd put it because <laughs> there's only one slot in the middle. Um, but yeah, looks great. Uh, performs really well. Um, yeah, it's, but again, it's not not to everybody's taste. But like I say, if you were looking at this cooler, definitely recommend it. Um, if you like the looks of it, uh, maybe see if you can stick an RGB fan down the center of it as well, and then you might get some shine for it as well. It might look pretty cool. Um, so that's it, guys. Like I say, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, give me any comments in the comment section below if you have anything to say about this. Um, if you didn't like it, give us a dislike. Again, let me know if you want to. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. It all helps me out. Thank you very much. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.